Welcome all. Today in this session, we are going to discuss how to handle checkboxes in Cypress. So for that purpose, we have a specific check method. Okay. So what check methods does for us? Check method. Check. Click on checkboxes or you can say radio button. In this session, we are going to specifically focus on the checkboxes for radio. I will create a separate, you can say, video. Okay, so the syntax for the check method is that you can uh, use the check without parameter. You can pass single value if you want to click on a single value check uh, on the basis of single value of a checkbox. If you want to pass multiple values for the checkbox, then you can use it. You can pass multiple options that uh, usually every function uh, you can say have a option. Okay, so now you can say we can uh, use the combination of value and options also. For example, if you want to click on, uh, you can say uh, all the checkboxes. You have a function. You can say cy dot get you can write a locator or css selector for the checkbox and then you can click on check okay now start first of all we'll see that uh, uh check options as i told you it also supports the options and these options are very common for every function like you can say type like you can say click and i've already explained this thing what is the use of these options like timeout force is called behavior and loud so same thing is applicable here also now we are going to uh, see the practical thing. Now uh, we, I'm going to click on the check the element with the ID of a, uh, a specific element. Suppose take the example for that purpose. I'm taking the example of, uh, you can say my this, uh, you can say uh, page. Okay. Uh, let me click on, you can say SOPI because we want to click on SOPI. So let me inspect it. And here we can create a, now you can say, uh, what you can say that we can create a CSS selector for that. If you want, you can create it from here. Or if you want, you can take the advantage of the, you can say Cypress inbuilt. Uh, uh, inspect locator like let me click on this one and now after that I click on SOPI when I click on SOPI it will generate a, a complete locator code for me let me copy here and now let me go to the you can see here in the this part here so now I have uh, you can say just uh, enter cy.get I just uh, get the SOPI and then I need to simply uh, call the check method okay I will simply call the check method and now let me run it. Control S. Uh, it will automatically execute here. So now you can see that it has clicked on the, you can say SOAP AI option. This is first. Second that if you want to click on all the checkboxes, so that is same. So instead of that, what you have to do instead of giving the locator or CSS selector for a particular checkbox, you can write a common CSS selector for that. Okay. And it is very simple. Let me show you that how we can write a a uh, common uh, CSS selector for all the checkboxes. So here the thing is that for all the checkboxes, the tag name is input and the type attribute always checkbox. So I can write simply control F and I can write input that is a tag name. And within this one, I can simply write uh, TYP equal to IP equal to and I will write in the double quotes. Let me write C H E C K B O X. Okay. So now I have created this, you can say locator, which is common for all the checkboxes. That's why you are able to see that it is showing that one of four because I have four checkboxes in my UI. So now let me go to here and now I'm going to, instead of using this get single locator, I'm going to pass this one. And now let me simply control S C. And now you can say that this time it is going to load page and all the, you can say checkboxes are selected here. Okay, so now let me go to the, you can say next option. What is that? If you want to check the checkboxes with the multiple values, like you uh, currently whatever, whatever we are doing, we are giving the, uh, you can say locator or CSS selector of a particular checkbox. We are giving the common, uh, you can say uh, selector of all the checkboxes. Now, if you want to out of all the checkboxes, you want to select multiple, but the selected one, one, two, three, you can select on the base of value. Okay, so for that purpose, I will again take the example. Suppose take the example, this is my page. And in this page, I want to select uh, the da da da. I want to select suppose J meter and I want to select SOPI. Okay, I want to select these two. So simply I need, what I need to do, these are the values, copy the values SOPI. You have to select the values and now go to the code. And in the checkbox, you have to write a square bracket and the square bracket, you have to write single quotes and you can pass uh, one value. It is the value of the checkbox. If you want to make it two, you can simply select this one and now, go to your code and select the another value. You have to select the value option. So if you want to select J meter, this is the value for J meter. Let me copy. And now let me go to the, you can say code here. And now let me pass it. In the same way, if you want to select two, three, four, you can pass the value. 
and now let me save it control s and now let me see that it is going to select the only two specific yes it has selected the soap yay and the jane so you can this use this option to select a particular you can say uh values uh for a particular uh check boxes okay i hope you understand the you proper use of check box uh, check function to select the check boxes you can use the click function also but this is especially designed for the you can say check boxes okay in the next video we will talk about you can say about the radio buttons okay so if you want to watch uh, that video also you can uh, uh, click the subscribe button so that you can get the notification about that video thank you